Hi, this is Janelle from Blackburn, and we're going to talk about fat substitutes and specifically things that you can substitute in place of butter. I really, really like butter, but I know that for my own general health, I should really rein it in as far as how much butter I'm using, specifically in baked goods. And so these are some options for butter replacements, uh, specifically with gluten-free baking. Start out with probably the tried and true extra virgin olive oil. Uh, this happens to be some uh, that uh, we actually bought uh, and was shipped overseas to us and it's lovely. Uh, there are different grades of olive oil as you're familiar with. Uh, my only complaint and this is a very small complaint about olive oil is that sometimes it can give a somewhat heavy flavor. Um, it can sometimes overwhelm something that ha that is supposed to have uh, a lighter type of flavor and sometimes olive oil isn't a good match for that. Another option in place of olive oil is using grapeseed oil. I've been experimenting with grapeseed oil probably the last three, four months and I've really been impressed with how this has worked. Um, it incorporates well into um, batters. It also works really well for sauteing when you're dealing with entrees. And this has a very light flavor. It has a very light consistency. Even when you rub it in your fingers, it has a real light kind of um, consistency to it. And I would highly recommend grapeseed oil as an option. Something else that I have been playing around with is coconut oil. Coconut itself is one of those kind of miracle foods. There's a lot of good things with coconut itself and specifically with coconut oil. Coconut oil is really good for the skin. I have a tendency for very dry skin and I've used this on dry patches overnight and it works really well. And when you open up coconut oil, it actually looks like lard. Um, we're at about maybe about 73, 74 degrees inside here today. When you get to be about 76, 78 degrees, this will liquefy. And you can still use it as uh, the same measurement as you would if it was in its solid form. It works either way. This happens to be the unrefined, which is for medium heat. This happens to be refined for medium high heat. Uh, so this works well for sauteing and the composition of the oil is not going to change with that kind of high heat. And surprisingly, these do not give a coconut kind of flavor with baked goods. I was a little concerned that everything that I tasted was going to taste like Hawaiian Tropic. And that's not the case at all. Uh, it's a very light type of flavor and it works really well. Uh, when you look at any sort of fat-free baking, fat-free cooking type of cookbooks, almost all of them recommend applesauce. And I would say that applesauce is a good replacement as well uh, because applesauce gives you that moisture that you need and also that action of pulling everything together and keeping everything together. Um, this also does impart some sweetness and so this is a good option as well. And lastly, yogurt works well. This happens to be a vanilla flavor and so in something sweet this would work well but a plain flavor yogurt also works well as a fat substitute. Online there are a lot of different conversion tables available for how you would uh, replace say olive oil or a grapeseed oil or coconut oil with a butter replacement. Uh, on our blog we have a link to a, such a conversion chart so give that a try and let us know how it works out. Enjoy!